Hello guys, this is Agra uh, with another daily outlook video. In this video, we are going to see what happened yesterday in the market on Tuesday, what is going on today on Wednesday in the market and what we should expect from the markets. Market expectations uh, from inflation, and it, it was what we were expecting actually. I can say that what happened in the market, it was the uh, expected. We could see that the, uh, the risk of the market is increasing, how you can see in a uh, week chart on the screen. And inflation, both in the United States and UK, China, we had, a pop, uh, we had a producer numbers from uh, United States and China. And from China, we had the consumers' inflation numbers as well. Two days later, we will have the consumers' inflation numbers from United States. Uh, what we had yesterday, it was again telling us that inflation, you know, yesterday I told that inflation is if we see the numbers uh, uh, above expectations or in line with expectation or even in line with the previous month, not even the expectation. We, we, talk, we talked, for example, uh, about the PPI or producer inflation last month in, in the monthly uh, scale was uh, uh, at 0.5%. And the market expectations for monthly PPI in October, uh, September was 0.5%. Monthly expectation, our expect, market expectation was at 0.6%. And the published data is also 0.6% in line with expectation. But the point is, it's above the 0.5% of pre previous months. Uh, same for uh, at the, in the annual in the annual scale, it was 8.6% in September. October numbers also was 8.6% at the same level of the previous month. So, which it means uh, the inflation is not going uh, to fall shortly. Especially if we go to the detailed numbers, we can see uh, the numbers that increase is mostly, uh, if I can tell you the exact numbers. Uh, let me tell you the exact numbers, uh, 0 0.6 percent, uh, yeah, just like uh, exact, yeah, for the food prices, food uh, fresh food prices gained 0 0.9 percent, sorry, 0 0.9 percent is the largest monthly increase since April 2020 and uh, 2020 and rent increase house rent increased by 0.4 percent in october it's the largest increase since 2006 so it's if, when we see the numbers where the numbers are increasing for the food price and house renting it means that the inflation is there to stay a little bit longer so there's just like alarms for us uh, which yesterday we talked about that this increasing the alarms uh, went to the to the Asian markets. <clears throat> in Asian market, we had Chinese today. Earlier today, we had Chinese number. Chinese uh, inflation <coughs> producer inflation. <coughs> sorry, Chinese producer inflation increased by 13 percent. If I don't miss it, yeah, 13.5 percent in October and 1.5 percent. Uh, it was the uh, consumers inflation in October in a yearly base. 1.5% the consumer's inflation and 13.5% the producer inflation. What these numbers telling us is telling us that the producer inflation of last month is coming uh, step by step to uh, uh, to our side, to our, as, a, as a consumers. If you remember last week, so I talked about that several times, that these numbers are alarming that the, the, the inflation the inflation of the producer's inflation, which we, we used to increase in the last month, several times I talked about that and I warned the market that this is going to happen in a consumer's inflation as well because the producer, they are not going to pay from their own packet. They will take this uh, higher paid uh, prices for the raw materials, for the energy, they will take them from us. So it means that the consumer's inflation also will increase. So this is what we are seeing. The other numbers that was interesting, it was about the oil market. Yesterday, the oil price again increased. There was a two reasons for that. First of all, as I told you yesterday, uh, we had API uh, report, American Petroleum Institute report, as well as uh, uh, short uh, EIA short uh, outlook for the energy market. Energy short, short outlook in the energy market was interesting. It was telling us that the increasing demand was confirming that the demand is increasing. And uh, we are almost at the same level of pre-pandemic. 
uh, was telling us because of the uh, higher prices in the gas, so many refineries they are changing to, to refineries and so many uh, uh, just like uh, so many refineries, so many factors and users general. They are changing, they are moving to the oil from the gas. So the oil demand also is increasing. So this increasing in the prices which we saw in a, sh uh, in a short uh, outlook, energy outlook, it means that in the short term still the demand is increasing. While the demand is increasing, so that's why the market ignored the AP report. AP report showed that in the last uh, week, for the, uh, for in the last week, increasing uh inventory increased by let me 2.3 to almost 2.5 million barrels which uh, was far more than 1.9 million of the market expectation supposed supposed to uh, see that the falling price and uh, falling the price in the oil market but didn't happen why because EIA short outlook energy outlook is telling guys that energy demand is going to increase oil demand is going to increase that was the reason to input uh, to uh, see the oil prices at the higher level and why it's important because if we see the oil prices again higher and keep continuing it means that in the short term at least in the short term which uh, so many banks actually they believe it's not the short term it's gonna a long it's gonna take long till end of 2011 2024 to see the prices above uh four persons 3.6 and four persons like almost two percent more than markets uh um, central banks uh target so energy price also again will be important because in a short term or in a midterm this higher energy prices will help the uh, will help the um, uh, inflation to increase what was the reaction in the stock market? Yesterday, if you remember, uh, we were talking about the starting of the dots at 47,000, 4,700 in S&P 500. As you see here in S&P 500, the the price started to falling down from since yesterday that we talked with the video I warned you. I warned that the, the market inflation uh, is in a very dangerous situation. The market inflation is increasing. The fears and the greed in the market is the, the fears of the people fears is increasing. When the fears is comes, uh, you know, when, when the fears is come, the people they decide by based on their emotion and not based on uh, they, they if they will ignore the they will ignore the reality. They will just find sorry. They will just like, uh, the people they ignore the uh, uh, they ignore the mind they will follow their uh, emotions the fears fears leading the market at the moment and this will continue as I think so if especially if today's CPI numbers or producer inflation numbers also we can see it higher I most probably will see that the same level or even higher because why because in the last month producer inflation was increasing so consumers inflation that we are waiting to see today from the United States will continue to be uh, and also today we will have EIA energy uh, inventory levels for the last week at the same time we have the infl uh, initial jobless claims as well so, uh, so this is what we have to focus on the financial market yesterday we had uh, speeches as well from the central banks uh, we didn't see that much uh, changes in their outlook, in their talks yesterday from <clears throat> previously what we heard them, <clears throat> especially from Fed, uh, Fed Chair, he, he almost, sorry. <clears throat> from Fed Chair, he almost uh, repeated the same words after, same words as uh, he told after uh, FOMC meeting last week. With, uh, we are, shouldn't be hurrying uh, increasing the rates and stuff like that which is I don't think that's going to be the reality in the next month it's going to uh, put the Federal Reserve in, uh, under pressure to uh, raise the rates and uh, speed to increase the speed of uh, tapering this is what's going to happen in the next month if especially we see the two days inflation number is also higher than expected or even at the line with the same thing that happened with the PPI uh, Another thing that we have to take care about today is the inflation and initial jobless claims. EIA weekly uh, outlook, weekly reports. Also, I talked about this. Is, yeah, this is the <coughs> uh, this, and the federal is the budget uh, budget balance with the 30 years bond auction. Today we have the bond auction as well. 
uh, and whether there's a budget uh, budget balance also. This is the most important thing that we have to take care of. But focus will be on uh, CPI numbers, on inflation numbers, and then uh, about the employment data. Uh, this is what the generally total is what's happening in the market. So we can see that the technical also, as we see here, the S&P 500, the EMA crossing strategy also starting uh, started to show the downside. Uh, this is the same thing we can see in the Dow Jones. This is the same thing we can see in the Nasdaq. So generally, the market is falling. We can see the market is falling, and this downside most probably can continue. About the uh, cryptocurrency market, cryptocurrency under, this is right now, this is almost 66,500. Uh, for the cryptocurrency market also, as I told you yesterday in the last days, I do still not believe that the, they can uh, go so higher, far, far than here. Uh, actually, when the prices was about the 63K, I told the technically above 62K, yeah, the technical is above the, above the 62K is uptrend. But the fundamentally, what we can see in the market, uh, we can see the fears in the market. These fears, first of all, the fears in the stock market is not going to stay just in the stock market. These fears can spread in all around the markets, the first. And the secondly, uh, in, in, in the cryptocurrency market, several times we had the arm about the stable coins, the stable coins, and the stable coins. So take care about the stable coins, take care about your uh, stocks. This is what's happening in uh, generally in the markets, and we have to take care about the uh, about the situation. Uh, this is yeah, this is the most important thing that we need to know today. For today, it is I, I think it's uh, enough. Uh, to say uh, the most important thing that we needed to, to know in the market, we have to watch in the market. Uh, please let me know if you have any question. Uh, write in uh, write in the comments. Tell me what you exactly want me to cover in the market and what you want me to talk about. If you had any question, also don't hesitate to ask your questions. See you guys again tomorrow morning. Goodbye. Bye. -bye.